Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering two questions. One, why can't I edit pages in Confluence? And two, why can't I access some of my pages in Confluence? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments section down below. And three things before we jump into today's video. Number one, this video is sponsored by our premier channel sponsor for all of our Confluence videos, and that is Gliffy. Make sure you check out Gliffy. Link is in the description below. But just to give you a little recap, Gliffy makes intuitive drag and drop diagramming tools. In fact, they're the number one diagramming tool in the Atlassian marketplace. Whether you're trying to create complex technical drawings or just simple mind maps, Gliffy can do it all. They have over 18 million users, and I would encourage you to go join the bandwagon as this tool is trusted by many, and I highly recommend that you go try out Gliffy in your confluence, show them some love, show them the power of the internet, and everything you need to know is down in the link in the description below. Second, this video is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0 series, so make sure that you're subscribing to this channel. We are really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, so make sure you smash the subscribe button, share this video with everybody you know, that way we can also double up our view count. And then finally, the Jira guy and I have teamed up and we've launched the Jira Life. Make sure you go and subscribe to that channel. We're aggressively trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So go show some love. Link is in the description below. Subscribe to that channel and help us hit our goals as well. All right, now let's go into Confluence. So when you are inside of Confluence and you are essentially trying to access a page, you're going to be restricted for one of two reasons. And I'm going to show you what those two reasons are in this video. But also if you're trying to edit a page, because you do have a scenario, there could be a situation where you have access to a page, you can view it, but you can't edit it. You can't add to it and you can't add other pages yourself. And so I'm going to show you why this is happening you yourself are most likely not going to be able to fix this but you can always share this video with your confluence administrator and have have them help you out so let me show you what's happening under the hood so when you're trying to edit or add a page or access a page that you just can't get to it's going to be because of the spaces permission now i'm going to do my best to show you these permissions because i don't have a paid version of confluence but any team that is on a paid version of confluence is going to basically be able to do all this. I'm just going to walk you through it here. So come over to your space settings here and you're going to under space settings over here, space permissions and under general, we're going to click on general and that is going to take us over to basically the space permissions. Now, in order for you to be able to either add pages or edit pages, you're going to have to have a, what Confluence calls an add permission. And let me show you what that looks like here. So inside of Confluence, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here so you can see. So inside of Confluence, we have this section here called Pages. And there's three options that we can do. We can add, we can archive, and we can delete. So your name either needs to be under individual, so you need to be explicitly added here with your name there, or alternatively, you need to belong to a group as defined up here. If you don't belong to a group that's up there, or if your name's not explicitly down there, then for sure you're not gonna be able to do pretty much anything because you're probably just not even gonna be able to access and or know that this Confluence space exists. So let's assume though that either your name is explicitly called out at the bottom or you belong to a group that does have access at the top, then you just need to tell your Confluence administrator to double check under pages and make sure that you have a little green check mark because if that little green check mark is not there and instead you have the little red X, well, then that basically means that you are not going to have the ability to either a, add pages or edit those pages. You're going to need some help there because until that item becomes a green check mark, you're not going to be able to do those two items. Now, that's the most common thing that is happening here. That is usually why you can't edit pages and or access a page is because you just don't have the right permissions. So sometimes you can view them but you won't be able to edit them and that's because of this. But if you can't view and you can't edit a page, then that might be a different problem because if you already do have the view here, if you have this green check mark, then you should at the very minimum be able to see a page. But if you encounter a message that says this page is restricted, it's gonna be restricted for one of like a couple of different things. One, you're not gonna have that check mark for the view, right? So somebody gave you a page or a link to a page 
and you click on it you're all happy because you're about to you know go to your job maybe you're a new intern you just got access to this confluence and then you basically are taken to a place where you don't have access right so you're going to want to talk to your administrators to your Atlassian administrators and have them help you out and have them essentially grant you the right permission so you can at least view this is just going to give you view only and then at a minimum add pages because that's going to let you also create and edit content now if you're ever greeted with that little lock that says this page is also restricted well that's a different problem confluence has restrictions at the page level and that means that the author of a page can add restrictions so that in that in a way that nobody else can then edit unless they grant them access now, not everybody can set these restrictions. If we go back to our permissions over here, you'll notice that on the far right side, we have a restriction section. So if uh, usually this is reserved for like administrators, for the space administrators, the owners of the space, usually I give it to the folks that are explicitly called out because when you have the ability to add restrictions, you also have the ability to create a lot of headaches. And while adding restrictions and restricting pages and making them confidential is awesome, when you don't architect it correctly, when you don't communicate it correctly, it can be a headache for a lot of people. So if you're experiencing these kind of problems where you either a, can't access pages, you can't edit the pages, or you can't access a page that is restricted, you're gonna to wanna to talk to your Atlassian administrators because they're the ones that are gonna be able to help you at the setting level. When you do encounter the restrictions, unfortunately, your administrator shouldn't be able to help you. They typically can, especially if you're in Confluence Premium. But if you're in Confluence Standard, your Confluence administrator is going to be kind of restricted as well. And so the only people that can help you access restricted spaces or pages are going to be the owners of those spaces. Now your Confluence administrator should be able to tell you who the owner of a page is or who the owner of this space is. And so that kind of should help you figure out who to email. But just know that you're in, with respect to restricted pages, especially if you're in Confluence standard, you're not going to be able to kind of circumvent that. And in my opinion, I think that's for a good reason, right? Because if I lock a page, if I lock it up, I don't want my administrator to like bypass the restriction that I put in place. There's a reason why it's confidential. There's a reason why I don't want people to see it. And your Confluence admins shouldn't be bypassing that. Unless if that person has left and then we're maybe replacing or we're doing a, a transfer of power or something like that. In that case though, you're definitely gonna wanna be on Confluence Premium because you're only gonna be able to do that if you're on the premium version of Confluence. But for the most part, for everybody else, for, for all the just the users of Confluence, just make sure that if you're having some trouble there, talk to your Confluence admin. They should be able to guide you. And if they don't know what they're doing, make sure you send them this video as it should help them out. That's it for this video. It's a quick one just to kind of explain the phenomenon as to why you can't access and or edit pages. If you found value out of this video, make, please make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't already and you made it this far, please make sure you smash the subscribe button. And then let me remind you about those last three th items that I started at the beginning, which was one, this video is sponsored by a premier channel sponsor, Gliffy. Do go make sure you show them some love. Get Gliffy installed in your Confluence and watch how productive and how much more better your team's gonna be able to communicate because I always say a picture's worth a thousand words and Gliffy's just gonna be that tool that allows you to articulate your thoughts in a visual way that makes it way easier for your team to communicate ideas and brainstorm and challenge each other and understand the technical requirements of what is being built. So make sure you go give Cliffy some love, check him out, get him going, and show them the support that this channel is gonna give Cliffy. And then finally, make sure you go show some support for the Jura Life. This is our new endeavor between the Jura guy and myself. We are very excited to be bringing this new podcast to you and giving you even more at lasting content. So make sure you go smash that subscribe button, links in there for everything in the description below. So go make sure you check out that description. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need